Okay, today, ladies and gents, we're going to talk about things you may or may not know about the Page and Layer Gallery. <clears throat> so the Page and Layer Gallery is um, over here on the side, and if I were to unpin it, um, it's right over here, Page and Layer Gallery. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it out, and I keep this pinned all the time because I use it all the time. It's a very powerful tool. And uh, right now I have uh, three shapes, uh, three different shapes that I've put together in a group. So I'm going to go ahead and click on... Uh, on this little triangle arrow type thing right here to see, click to see the objects inside. So I'm going to pop that out and I can see now I have all my different uh, guides, or, or my layers, I'm sorry. The first is the guides layer and then I have a named colors layer that I that I use that I keep turned off but that's where it is, I keep that hidden. Um, then I have the, my mouse over and my mouse off layer because I'm using a, a web-based uh, um, uh, template. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, anything where you can see uh, one of these little arrows next to it means there's something on that layer, right? So you can expand it out. So if I click on that, you can see I have these different colors. There they are. And so I also have my shapes on my mouse off layer, which is what I'm going to talk about right here. And you can see that these are already in a group. You can see that there's a group here and that if I expand the group out, I get my individual shapes that are in the group. Um, so this is kind of neat. Uh, I've got a, a green rectangle, a red star, and a uh, blue ellipse. Now if I want to, I can use this um, page and layer gallery to move things around. So I'm going to take my rectangle line and move it underneath the star. And I, now you can see that the rectangle is moved behind the star. So I can move things around quite easily on this. I move the, the blue ellipse up, so I've got star, ellipse, and then rectangle, and you can see star, ellipse, rectangle. So you can change or the order of things, even inside of groups, uh, quite easily by using uh, this layer. Um, now, you can also uh, use these icons here, and there are three that, that uh, you can use. One of them is a, uh, a locking icon, so if I were to do that, then this rectangle would be locked and I wouldn't be able to move it. So even if I try to click on it here, I can't do anything with it unless I unlock it again. Um, then this uh, visible uh, click to hide, right? So I can hide that uh, rectangle if I wanted to, bring it back, that kind of thing. And then the last thing is uh, the solo. So if I click on this and I, right, even if I was clicked up here, uh, if I click on this solo right here, I would only get the rectangle. And now, so I could go and work on this uh, completely alone and say I wanted to do that. Let me change this to an editable shape. And then uh, I'll choose my my shape editor and make some changes to it. All right. I'll make this a trapezoid or something like that. Yeah. Now it's no longer a um, a uh, Rectangle, it's a, it's, a, it's a shape now, showing here. So what if I wanted to do uh, something else? Well, let's go ahead and add another rectangle in here, and we'll give this a different color so we don't get things confused. Let's give it a purplish color. Um, you can see this is not part of the group, and it's on top because I, I did it last. So if I were to move this over, you could see that it would be above the group. But what if I wanted it to be in the group? Well, I could ungroup this and then reposition this where I want it to be and then group it again, but I don't have to. I can just go over to my page and layer gallery and pull it down in here, and if I wanted it between the uh, star and the ellipse, there it is. And if I were to bring that over, you would see that that's exactly what happens. It, it goes between the star and the ellipse. Anyway, that's uh, some basic things about the page and layer gallery and, and, and kind of the order. Uh, I don't want to spend too long on this, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it short here. I may come back to this topic later and get into some more detail. But uh, that's the my first uh, try at it, and I hope you found that interesting and useful, and we'll come back and talk to you again soon.